or monogram class. So this will be the mock-up version okay today i'll be teaching you how to make the mock-up not the mock-up for the real as promised the mock-up for the real will be coming immediately after this particular tutorial okay you're going to learn how to prepare a mock-up which you'll be using for advanced animation for our real posts okay for this one this is just to give you a little guide about mock-up on monogram okay monogram type of mock-up and format is not the same format with other kind of logo because monogram is an intersection of words and the strokes separating these words are in most cases tiny if they are not scalable it becomes a problem so when you place multiple mock-ups inside like for instance nine as we have before inside one box it becomes very difficult for people to understand how the design works as you can see you can see this very clearly from here but when we switch to this version it becomes a little bit difficult for you to understand what's going on okay now there are some kind of monogram that supports this version if yours supports it like mine do you can go on with that as you can see the woman hat from here we can see it very clearly but i think we have that here we don't have it here but let's take for instance what we have here you see how clear it is okay so that's the first version of monogram you can use two layouts you can use four layouts you can use you can use a box here another box here another box here another box here just uh four squares inside this square okay can you create this by 2000 times 2000 this is the size you're going to use in creating this uh layout for your grid 2000 times 2000 next thing i'm going to show you how to create a, 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 a layout like this very easily at the end of this course okay so you can place the bright version here place the dark version here place the dark version here and place the bright version here this is just to create a balance between your work okay the next version this is the one we already have I have a tutorial on this on our last design lab 1.0 the video should be on youtube you can go watch how we assembled all these mockups and we use specific tools for mobile but today we are going to use photoshop to do it as you can see you can still make about nine or ten grid uh, mockups and prepare them present them in your grid if your mockup type supports up to nine layouts without confusing viewers so the next is this beautiful one now you see the color we used here this is uh this is milk white okay in conjunction with the uh green okay this is a dark very dark green but we didn't apply that here because the shadows we can't find we can't get the shadows if we apply too dark version to this bag but still everything works perfectly fine okay now we get to the next version we have seen what we talked about here the final one as you can see i made here you see the uh, green are laid the green are different versions of color than what we have in the previous one so you can mix and match multiple colors to see what works best for you i'm going to give you a link which you're going to get any kind of um color combination okay working in line this is for beginners actually people who don't know how to work around their color this particular link is going to help you okay so um the link is over here so fine so i'm going to drop this link in the description below okay so you can pick any color you want from here just click on the color it have selected that particular color value now when you get into your photoshop you can select on a background and double click on this element then place your color as you used to do you can place your color value from here okay it applies that color value okay so that's how to choose colors from here you can pick as multiple colors depending on your brand type you can choose this dark uh, navy blue you can scroll down there are multiple nice colors you can mix and match to create your work mind you i'll be there to guide you, you can use uh this uh brown but when you are picking brown for instance we pick this brown and we pick this brown for the lighter version let me show you what we are going to do now let me show you what we're going to do so we pick this brown for the background okay we place it to the background we paste it here then we pick the other brown now watch what is going to happen we pick this other lighter brown okay for or let's take a more lighter brown okay for the the logo icon itself so let's place that for the logo icon so i want to show you the difference and the problem you can run into picking colors from that that's that's just the difference now we have this kind of contrasting that is not clean this is not a clean contrast even though we used a lighter one if we had used the darker version of that purple that uh version it won't work at all so what we're gonna do here is we select on the background actually not the logo it's a logo icon color is okay select on the background okay you can switch the color to make it a darker blue okay a darker brown i mean go down until you get almost to the darker version of it okay 
okay let's go let's look at Dakar fine so this will work for your brand too if you use this for the for the for the base color the brighter version of 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 blue use this for the bar so this doesn't mean you must go scramble your color from there you can create your own color from this particular place without going into that particular place i prescribe for you but the reason for that place is just to give you a little bit of guide okay a little bit of guide you can choose to go with purple okay now let's say we, we went to, we go with purple what color are we going to use for the base uh, element so the base element is this so what color are we going to use we're going to use a lighter version of purple still select the same version of purple you selected then draw your arrow until you get to the lighter edge of of this angle until you see you're gonna get your color the color variant you want don't mind what's going on here let me clear that out immediately so we actually didn't remove uh you see actually didn't remove uh, that um, stroke so as you can see we have our variant working perfectly so you can choose this color to work with choose the color to work with also choose the green to work with or choose any other color but once you choose the color go to the darker part for the background and the brighter part for the version and that's not just the principle you can also go with the darker version for the element of your mock-up and the brighter version for the background now in this case you have to choose which one works not in every mock-up that everything works perfectly well as you think like for instance this bag as we as we see here if we had used the bright darker version in the background the image here would poop as it, as, it, as it is now it wouldn't be bright okay we have some kind of white cutting edges i don't need to tell you much about this you understand what i'm saying so use colors on parts it works perfectly well on okay so these colors variants you can pick them from here or just generate them from your mind okay pick them from there they don't provide enough color as what i demand from here for instance i needed to see some kind of darker version of every color but i don't find that here but at least this give you a little bit of clue on how to walk around or what to get from there okay i would have gone ahead to show you how to create grid layout like this okay the grid uh, uh calculations like this like we did in the sketch version we did a little bit of calculation there i would have shown you a little bit of calculation from here too how to prepare this and also not just teaching you the calculation we also, we also learned how to prepare this with the grid uh a golden ratio or the grid uh styling okay we use the grid format to create our logo you saw that right in your face we use it to create this particular logo we use the grid layout to create i don't know if we actually we deleted that uh, element so i taught you guys how to create it and the sizing how to create the sizing i would have taught you guys how to prepare the mock-up version so you can use it actually on your work but we don't have much time on that we have to create a course another day but if you understand the trick behind this placing these stuffs along with each other you can then create one and use it in your mock-up maybe in the center mock-up it works best in the center mock-up okay and these other ones it can also work somewhere here or there so we've learned that the, the uh, uh, subtle colors, how to use subtle colors is very important. We learned the grid layout styling for uh, monogram pattern. You, you saw the difference and I explained why we should go with bold version like this than just going with nine grid in layout like this because of the clarity and uh, uh, scalability. I talked about that. Okay, so I'll prescribe some mock-up for you. To use okay for this monogram version there are kind of mock-up use as you can see from our mock-up community we changed uh we added uh, some kind of some new mock-up variants okay as you can see from here these are kind of mock-up that supports monogram as you can see from here all these are mock-up if you're not in the community the link will be dropped in our official group the design lab it will be dropped there so now as you can see from the mock-up let me just pull out these images you see all the mock-ups as we have from here let let me just prescribe all this mock-up that we have available is is uh usable for your uh monogram all of them from this particular one down okay so i can prescribe some more from the top side okay i can prescribe this, this can work also the background can be your base color and the cup can be the main color and the color of the logo will be the base color okay when you choose a color for background and you have a background color for an element and you have the logo on it the color of the logo must be the color of the base background and the color of the cup can be the color of the light background the same applies to this you can use this also 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 this works perfectly well and just prescribing a few mock-ups which can work very well don't use this this doesn't work fine this doesn't work fine this might work this okay don't use this don't use this okay you can use this too can use this 
so there are multiple you can use this too there are different you can use this you can use this there are different mockups multiple mockups as you keep scrolling you can use this you can use this you can use this you can use this depending on what you are working on so go in there you, you go source your mockup yourself i'm not going to give you all mockup variants you keep scrolling you keep getting as much and more mockups as you can find okay so that's for the mockup prescription okay um how we created this pattern some people might be asking how do we create this pattern the pattern we used in our logo from here so this has great pattern and i'm not a big fan of pattern and i don't advise you to use you to always use patterns on your work okay patterns in most cases make your work look uh absurd in in most cases when you don't use it very well not all brands need a pattern their logo you make it doesn't need a pattern if your logo don't support a pattern don't use it now what's a pattern a pattern is a, a particular variant of a logo type a logo version okay that reflects significantly on the logo for instance as we have this star over here this particular one don't have a pattern so don't stress stretch yourself using a pattern or you can create a pattern with the hexagon inside of this place so this hexagon the mouth of this could be the pattern of this logo or you just go without a pattern you mustn't use a pattern and don't post your pattern on your instagram page or your portfolio as a front image your pattern can come at the back of every image don't always use your pattern and front image it's not usually very nice so this is how we created this pattern for this double click on this let me see how that works so the pattern is actually sections you just drop in elements over elements over elements over elements over elements over elements okay when you're done with that i think let me just clear this let me just clear this let me show you okay let me just get straight to the point when you're done with that what next you do we are done with that let's just be careful i just want to be fast yeah you just duplicate this hold the alt key you see this double arrow drag out then pull it at the top okay pull it at the top and make sure it intersects with the center it's no more equal with this it intersects with the center that's how to create a pattern okay then shift it to adjust to the part that you know is comfortable with you okay the spacing here and the spacing here should be equal the spacing uh, uh, vertically and the spacing horizontally should be equal when you drop that you see we have one gap remaining at the bottom part let me delete this delete this delete this and delete this so this is what we have we have one part remaining at the bottom part what you're going to do is to hold the alt key and duplicate that and pull it till it matches when you do that you can select all your mock-up variants okay and also select this one too all of them all of them okay now hold the alt key and drag out now you can create a different variant of it and drop it you drag out and drop it you drag out as you keep dragging out and drop it to be creating that symmetry view okay or that uh, uh aesthetic view showing uh difference between this variant and this variant and by so you created your uh pattern okay this is the brand pattern but you mustn't use patterns okay this adjust a one in two you mustn't use patterns so that's how this we are created all this mock-up are in our uh mock-up resource community like i said the link will be in the description below Thank you guys i'll be expecting your work your assignment is very simple and straight to the point okay prepare any mock-up version or any mock-up uh pattern type you wish to prepare either this type you can just prepare one you mustn't prepare all three okay or you prepare this or you prepare this i'll be in the group to guide you whatever color you choose is all up to you just choose color that matches your brand okay and for the fact you use a particular color in a pattern doesn't mean you can't switch for instance as you can see let me show you something you see we use green here and the dark background that means that doesn't mean we should use also use green the light green we used in this logo here you can just switch around play around okay don't let rules in design guide you play around what works for you what works best for you that is what you should go with we can decide to go uh switch this to go the same color as we have here okay if we want it works fine too okay we can also decide to do that to this one over here switch it to this color and you see everything is going to look very nice you see so we're still having that problem because we undid what we have done before so go back and erase that part so as you can see everything works fine like this but you are not you are not uh restricted to rules just play around your design i love it like so i love it as it looks it's very perfectly fine for me so that's it guys for today's tutorial on grid layout 
just prepare your grid layout and this is how to prepare the grid layout list i forget okay so create a a new uh document file 2000 times 2300 resolution on pixels okay that is fine everything is fine from here just leave everything as it is just create your layout so now we've created our layout we're gonna drag in our logo now the last one we did it with a mobile phone it was very easy to do it with a, a, a mobile app but now we are gonna do it with this and I'm gonna show you an example of how the backgrounds are supposed to look like so we're gonna drag in uh, four logo mockups but the four logo mockups are gonna be one two bright background and two dark background why we do that is to create the balance as I said earlier on before I get to this point so we select this and select this dark background we also select this dark background this one here just choose images from that have different variations okay don't just choose the same thing all together i think this or this okay let's pick this also or as well so we drop in the four images they are going to as we selected all four just hit enter as you drop them in okay hit enter again hit enter again for the final one hit enter okay so select all four images and skew them down okay don't don't bother yourself whether it's equal to the size as we have here so skew them down click outside let's lock this layer so we don't have um we want to lock this layer very good it's locked so select on this and we point it out select on this and we point it out like so and we select on this green and we point it out like so so now we have everything placed all together like so select all four one two three and four then skew it up scale it up very simple you have created your grid layout you can still use this for the nine layer version you can use this for the nine layer version it's still the same technique just skew everything arrange them until they become nine for instance for this one let's create a layer and plug it at the bottom part of this for this the nine layer could be something like this until you select all of them and you skew them to the top just as we did in the last version of this okay so we have the balance here everything looks very fine see the balance it looks very you can still create this pattern like we have in the first pattern we did in the first pattern we did look at it is it's three layer okay three layouts of the grid version this is the masonry version i talked about that in the past uh, mock-up tutorial in our design lab 1.0 if you have not watched that go to the youtube channel check for that now we see we use three here here we used nine okay we used nine here and here we used about one two three and four four over here but the four are still masonry they are not well arranged accordingly okay we have another one no so in the final version we have four that are equal to each other but the balance here is what we created okay now the green here is not the same green as we have here you can select on that pick on the color picker tool select the green we have here and point it to this particular one and we are good to go so that is that is simply all you need to do this is how to create the grid layout for this four version you can create this too if you love to use this particular pattern so guys that is it i'll be expecting to see your assignment see you in the next class when we will do the magical real animation for the final version of this tutorial thank you once again my name is mano enjoy the rest of your day